everybody welcome back um, welcome to my new subscribers uh, thank you guys so much for um, joining my channel I'm just delighted that you've just decided you know that you want to follow me so I appreciate it so much today I've got a uh, journal to share with you guys and this is a design team project I've just completed for Artie Mays using her bee garden kit um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've used this kit in the past. I love it. I'm drawn to the bee journals. And um, so I just, I have really felt like I wanted to go back and revisit this and do it in a completely different style. And so that's what I've done. So let's just get started here. Um, it's... Um, get this right here. It's going to be about a five and a half by seven and a half, but the journal itself is, is probably closer to about a six and a quarter by a four and a quarter, but you'll see. Um, I've got a, about a one inch spine, but this has just grown and grown and grown. <laughs> so I'll just show you the back of it. I'm really pleased with how this has come out. This is old, um, you know, just lots of doilies and laces that have just been uh, layered. And then, you know, various things from the kit and my stash um, to create this. Uh, this is a little metal uh, bumblebee. Let me just give you a close-up so you can see. It's, there's just so much dimension going on with the cover, and I love it. I just... I... have I'm hoping I don't regret letting this one go. <laughs> you know how there's some journals that you're just like, oh, this was really pulling on my heartstrings because I love this journal so much and I'm just pleased with how it's come out. Um, but it has to, you know, it has to, to, to go into the shop. So on the front, just... You know the metal piece a little frame and then this is an image from the kit and just various layers I won't go into a lot of detail on how it's made because as I said to you I've done so many courses and um, I've just taken techniques from um, from all of them sorry this is a little piece of that um, sorry silk that stuff tends to uh, to do that and uh, it gets on my nerves <laughs> So here, this is another of the um, little tags from uh, Andrea's kit. Um, I do have some images that I've gotten off of uh, the internet and, you know, a couple of other kits, but um, most of the things in here are Artie Mae's uh, B kit. So those are the ones I will point out. And got a little um, library card there, and then this flips over. And you got this tiny tag tucked in there. And then that closes. So that is the cover. The closure is a sorry silk closure that's been sewn into the uh, journal. So that opens. And then on the cover here, I've got another little flip over. And this is another one of the cards from the kit. The circle is from the kit. This is an Edith Holden page that I've done. <coughs> Excuse me, I've added some of the vine trim to. Another little tag tucked here. And then here I've created like a little window pocket. And this is one of the journaling kits from the kit as well. I love how that just peeks through. Isn't it beautiful? And that's a little piece of um, vellum. So that is the cover. And then these are the pages from the kit. And then here I've done some decoupage. You know, I have those bee, bumblebee napkins. So I've just placed those here and there throughout. This has been gessoed and some inking done. Here I've got uh, one of the mother of pearl buttons. Little snippet. I'll see if I can show you a close up so you can see. It's really pretty. And then I've just made a little tuck spot here, and this is one of the um, journal cards from the kit. Love that. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> um, 
let's see. So that's an old um, a vintage book page. Here's just a little snippet that I've stamped on it, stitched around. So that's just been added there. Just a real mix. Um, this is the tags that come in the kit. Now this kit, again, because I wanted it to be smaller, I've just printed it out as two per sheet and then these I've just kept them together so that they could be an additional little writing pad there. And then I've just collaged a bit more of, um, this is a different, um, some bumblebee background paper. Sorry, I'm going to sit down. Guys, I've been standing all morning and sit down and I'll show you the rest of this. Um, this is some bee background paper I, that I got, I don't know, ages ago. And I like the blue and it's just kind of nice to add you know, some other things as well. I've done stenciling throughout with the honeycomb stencil. And then this is um, some more just little background papers. And then these are, this is an old um, mailer that I've upcycled and recycled. I'm not too sure. I, th I think if it's upcycling or recycling, it's a bit of both, I think. So, and this journal card is just tucked down in there. Um, some more of that Liberty uh, of London fabric. I love the colors on that. Just beautiful. And this is another um, of the pages from the kit. I just, I just love this kit so much. I, I just keep having to go back and work with it. Um, Edith Holden Page. And then I just added a little bit of trim up there. So there's a lot of writing space on this. This has got um, 144 pages into two signatures. Um, and I don't think I told you, sorry. On the, the inside of the cover, this is like a thick kind of upholstery um, material. It's beautiful. In fact, let me see if I've got, I'll pull I've got a large piece here so you can see. This is what's backing the inside of the cover. It's very, very plush. So, um, although you don't really see it, um, you know, it is there. Um, and then the base of it is a cardboard box again. So, a lot of fun. A lot of fun making this one. I loved it. Um, yeah, I just um, really, really enjoying um, the process of these, my latest journals. I, I mean, I love all of my journals, you know, I wouldn't make them if I didn't, but I don't know, it, it just seems to be something that has changed and very different about the latest ones, and I'm, I'm just so pleased with how they've come out. Um, another of the journal pages from um, Andrea's kit, and another little book page. Um, here I've just included a tiny little envelope with a little card in there. Um, this just this is from my stash, but I've made it dimensional so that you can pop that up and then it'll lie flat when you're not wanting it as dimensional. And if I can get that back in. <clears throat> Some um, lightweight crafty type paper, you know, the shipping type. And then more stenciling here. On the center of the signatures, I have put um, an envelope in the center of each of the signatures. I'm so sorry about that. Let me just check this again. Um, here, just a little postcard that I've decoupage the little bee onto, so you've got more writing space there. I think that really looks pretty tucked in there. 
And then here I've made another um, fabric tip in. And I, I love that old button there. I just think that's just beautiful how that's come out. I think I'm going to have to try to source some more of that material because I'm crazy about it. Um, here I've just made a little tuck spot and then this is one of the tags that comes in the kit. And then I've just tucked this. It's just another little scrap notepad. I've just tucked that under. I like the way that that all looks when it's under there. I think it really looks pretty. So here I have... Um, made a little corner spot, and then I decoupaged another little B onto that inventory tag, and then this is another tiny little tag that's tucked in there. Some stitching, and then I've added um, some fabric tabs throughout. Like I said, a lot of stenciling. I love that button. I think that is just so sweet. It's this tiny little button that I stitched onto that, and that's more the Liberty, um, Liberty of London fabric. Another junk mailer, and then inside here, I've made this big journal card. So it's out of some um, craft cardstock, so you can do some more writing there. And this is some of the old uh, piano roll paper, and I've just um, had some offcuts, and I've made some ruffles out of that. I love how that's come out. That's another of the pages from the kit. Isn't it beautiful? All the colors in that. A bit more decoupage there. Um, here I've just attached. This is um, one of the pay uh, wage envelopes that you can get over here. Um, so I've made one of the Tim Holtz photo dies, and I've just tucked you know bits and pieces in there. So you've got lots of little journal cards that have been st stuck in. There's a couple of brads there. And then this flips over. And then when you pull this out, this is another of the journal cards from the kit. Um, so I've just cut that down so that it would fit in there. And then I also added some <clears throat> paper to the back of the envelope. So you could you could either have a, um, a photo or, you know, whatever you want to do on that space. Another old book page. And then this was just some notebook paper that I'd cut off um, to make a tiny notebook out of, and these were left over. And I just stitched them together and made a couple of pockets. I just think they're so sweet how they look with the, you know, the spiral edge there. I love that. Um, a little bit fiddly to get your things in, but and then that's a stamped image. This is just a handmade paper. Um, I ordered some handmade paper from a company, and they sent me some little tag samples so that I could choose the paper. Um, so I just included that little tag because I thought that was really sweet. And then this is another of the little circles from the um, the kit. I just Tuck that down in there. Okay, let's get a move on. I can see I'm taking too long here. Um, here I made a double pocket, a little journal card, and another tag. That just flips out, so you've got extra writing there. And then this is one of the images of um, Edith Holden, and I love that image, so I, I cut that out and just create a little tuck spot. And that's all been put onto an Edith Holden book page. And then I just decoupage another little B. It's a bit of that um, B uh, fabric rough, um, fabric trim. Another page from um, Artie Mae's kit. I love that. And then here, this was, um, you know, just one of the collage, like kind of like the Franken pages. 
and then I just made a little pocket out of it and then this was from the internet that image was so I made that that's some sorry silk more of the piano paper um, ruffle and then here is another um, little tag now I believe this is from a different kit this wasn't um, part of that kit but it coordinated nicely so I just wanted to include that another old book page some more um, fabric tab this is another old junk mailer and I've done a, a collage there with an old button and this is one of the tiny circle images that you get and I thought that was pretty how I was able to collage that together and then on this side I've just tucked in this little book page um, envelope that I made and I just inked around that and there's another journal card from the kit so that's been tucked in and then that is just inside this um, here I've got a, like a double little tuck spot so I just took scraps and made a little notepad there and then another uh, tag for my stash that's tucked there and then I had a little tuck spot this way and I just used <coughs> bits and pieces that were left over and I just collaged them up you know so that's tucked in there some more fabric ruffle another old book page love that image and then on the center of this one this is another um, envelope that I've made and these are journal cards from the kit so you have to like these if you um, if you buy this journal because it's full of them uh, I'm just crazy over them as you all know I never ever tire of working with the bee kits I love this little snippet that I made I just love how that's come out with the black against that Another of the pages from the kit. And then here is just another little tuck spot that I made. And add a little journal card there. Another of the mailers. And this one's got a window. So that when that's in there, it just kind of peeks through. I love that. This is one of the sayings from the about the bees from the Edith Holden, and I I cut that out because I do like to include that in my little bee journals. Here is just another little. Um, I've just tucked this here. This is one of the journal cards you get from the kit, but I've obviously cut that down to fit this little glass scene type. It's just like a, all the little scraps that I had left over and I just chucked them in here and made a little notepad and then that's been glued down. So I just went ahead and clipped it so that it wouldn't keep popping open. But I thought that was uh, really sweet. Here, another little... Um, snippet with a tiny bee charm on a bulb pin. Got that color. Beautiful. Another little fabric tab. Some more decoupage there. And then here I've got another little pocket with that tag. And then uh, this is one of the die cuts you know, the wildflower from Tim Holtz. I just put that on there for some added texture. And another little journal card tucked in there. And then this is just a bit more of the paper I had left over, and I just made it into a tiny little ruffle. Just uh, So there's that, the, that fabric. You can really feel it on the back. And then that's the last page. Isn't that gorgeous? Always oh, adorable, that bee. <laughs> So, and then again, that's the back of the cover. So, there she is. This is, um, let me 
the we're going to name this one Baby Bumblebee because the front cover says My Baby Bumblebee, so that's what I'll call it, Baby Bumblebee. That's that's just perfect because it's just just tiny and fits right in your hand and it it, it just feels really nice on Oh, I will miss you, my friend. But yeah, I've really enjoyed um, working on this. I don't know if it shows up, but I took a bit of the um, the gold glue, or not glue, listen to me, paint, and just kind of dabbed it. Just, I don't know, I just felt like it needed a little bit of interest on it. This just come out so pretty. Anyways, enough, guys, I gotta go. Um, but I did want to show you that, and I hope that um, you guys are all doing well. I will put a link below to um, Artie Mae's for this kit. Um, she's got the journal kit and then the add-on. It's a big kit. So, um, although I a lot of the ephemera I didn't fit into this, it is a huge kit. Um, so do check it out if you're looking for a bee a bee kit to be working with. I think you will, you'll really enjoy it because it's a large one. So. And let's see, I don't think there's any other news, um, but I will be back uh, next week, hopefully with some more things to share. Thank you guys so much for all your lovely comments on the, um, the clutch tutorial I did. I really, really appreciate all the great feedback I got from that. Um, it's just so nice to hear from you. Um, it, it just, it really does encourage us to keep, you know, making more videos because if people don't interact, you don't know if they're enjoying it. But that's just awesome, the response I had. So thank you all so much for that. And I hope everybody will have a great weekend. Stay safe. And I hope you're able to get out and do something that you, that you enjoy. And I'll be back again soon. Take care. Bye.